Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Clay and in today's video, we're going to be checking out the MW2 M4 in Modern Warfare 3. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also like the video. Let's try to get 55 likes on today's video. I highly appreciate it and it helps out the channel a bunch. Over on the secondary, we're going with the Renetti. Tactical is Stim. Lethal is Simtex. Field upgrade is Trophy System. Gloves is Scavenger Gloves. Boots is Covered Sneakers. And gear is EOD Padding. Over on the vest, we're going with the Demolition Vest. This gives us resupply and two lethals. Now let's jump straight into the M4 class setup. Starting us out over on the stock, we're going to be going with a Torrent Span 9 stock. This gives you recoil control, gun kick control, and hip fire and tag stance spread. The cons are crouch movement speed and aim down sight speed. Over on the rear grip, we're going to Seiken ZX grip. This gives us recoil control and gun kick control. This is a little bit of a personal preference attachment. But for the max damage build that we are going for, this basically helps us out with that. We're going with the high grain rounds. This gives us bullet velocity and damage range. It actually brings your effective damage range all the way up to 35 meters and your bullet velocity to 935.8 milliseconds. Over on the muzzle, we're going with the T4LR Saber Compensator. This gives you horizontal recoil control and gun kick control. And over on the barrel, we're going with a high tower 20 inch barrel. This gives you bullet velocity and range, recoil control, and hip fire accuracy. That's going to do it for this class setup. I hope this helps you if you're trying to look for an M4 build. This is the only build that actually worked for me. I definitely recommend using higher grain rounds. I feel like the MW2 weapons struggle a lot with damage range and bullet velocity. But I have a crazy gameplay for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy that. And if you do, let me know with a like, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. A small percentage of people that watch my videos are subscribed. So if you like this video, consider subscribing and also follow me on Twitch where I stream and play with followers. Also, if you'd like to, you can follow me on Twitter where you can stay up to date with me. And I also have a Discord. So if you'd like to, we can connect more on there. Now let's get back to the video. All right, today we're going to be checking out the MW2, M4, and MW3. This is a little bit slower of a build than how it was in MW2. But... I seen you. Oh. Okay, well, we're sniping on one of the smallest maps, so okay. Alright, I need to need to get warmed up a little bit. Yeah. <clears throat> There's a lot of like visual recoil too. And so loud. Okay. There's three people sniping. For what? I do not know. Four people. Oh my god. Call that UAV and get moving. And can we stop going up there like just to snipe? Oh, 
my god. Why are they spawning right there? This game just doesn't make sense anymore. Why do they keep spawning on me? Oh my god. I've never been in a, in a lobby like this. Why this guy spawn behind me? What the heck is that? I'm looking at the radar and I'm I see the guy spawn directly behind me. Oh, this game is this game is great. It is so great. I I literally can't run anywhere on this map. What do they do to rust? Like, it, that used to not happen. That guy's probably gonna spawn dark. I just killed this guy, and he's right here. I just gotta keep moving. Uh, that's that's how I gotta play this map. Okay, they're not spawning on me. They're in that deep corner. Oh. 
Like what? What is that? They just spawned up right behind me. Oh my god. Oh wait, I got the nuke. Oh my god. I I, I don't even want to play the rest of this game out. Thank god I got the nuke. Like look, he's spawning up. This map does not make any sense anymore. You get kills and they spawn directly behind you every time. GG's, I guess.